Tackling stock markets as China says it may allow mainland Chinese to invest in the territory's financial markets. The value of eight share companies, they are businesses which are mainland based but listed here in Hong Kong, soared today. That's on the prospect that tens of billions of dollars could potentially be freed up to invest in Hong Kong. Lisa Barron has the story. The plan is the first allowing mainland Chinese to invest in Hong Kong stocks and could see billions of dollars in foreign currency holdings flow into the territory's market. It's quite a significant step because that probably is an initial uh, measure uh, in an effort of accelerating the capital account liberalization, allowing people to uh, invest in the Hong Kong market. It's really a big move compared to the current existing restrictions on capital account uh, uh, movement. Those restrictions forbid mainlanders from remitting foreign currency abroad, although corporations are allowed to keep foreign currencies offshore. Under the new proposals, mainland investors with foreign currency would be able to transfer their money into Hong Kong banks, and the funds could then be invested in the stock market. It's a welcome um, boost for, say, for at least for Hong Kong stocks, but particularly for China companies which are listed in Hong Kong, um, hedge shares, red chip stocks, um, main board listings as well. Uh, gem stocks. Mainland individuals have an estimated $80 billion in mainland banks, while another $50 billion is believed to be held by mainland companies. Illegal flows of funds helped boost mainland shares listed in Hong Kong until Beijing cracked down in the middle of last year. The problem with the illegal, I think that's illegal uh, capital flow, is you, 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 you lost control and you don't know what's going on. Uh, and uh, the, 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 the casual flow of uh, capital on the ground sometimes cause problems uh, for uh, the market and particularly could trigger instabilities in both Hong Kong market and the domestic uh, capital market. The government is keen to help the Hong Kong economy, including its stock market. It's not clear, though, whether or how much the move would help China's markets, and there are still questions about whether foreign currency holdings includes funds that are already offshore illegally or foreign currency that's still in the mainland. Details were not really announced, so we don't really know what the numbers are, are involved. But the, the intention is there, and you can see that with the, um, the three main parties involved, the PBOC, SAFE, and um, uh, the CSS, CSRC, um, if the intention is there, that means they're going to implement very soon. It's the second proposal in the last month designed to link mainland savers to Hong Kong banks. Beijing is also considering a move to allow Hong Kong banks to accept yuan deposits. Lisa Barron, CNN, Hong Kong. Well, Hong Kong's benchmark index closing slightly lower today.